Does anyone know why a vinyl LP or a CD is called an album? You know, who'll know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. In 1948, as turntable reproduction improved, record companies like RCA Victor began producing 45 RPM records for single songs, with one song per side. And Columbia started making 33 and a third long playing records, or LPs, ushering in the hi-fi era. These LPs were called albums, and the term dates back to when all discs were 78 RPM. With 78s, there was typically only one song per side for two reasons. First, there was usually not enough disc space on a 78 for more than one song. However, the most important reason was that the disc was an actual reproduction of a live session. So that to have two songs per side, assuming the songs were short enough to fit, the songs would have to be performed perfectly and recorded in real time, one right after the other, exactly the way the record would play. So to make a collection of 8 to 12 songs would require that 4 to 6 78 RPM discs to be bound together in what looked like a photo album. The name album continued with LPs, and even today with CDs. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.